Good evening, everyone. Treasure Troller here from the partially mask-wearing militant state of Michigan, where we have more FBI agents and paid informants than we do actual conspirators in the plot to kidnap our governor and dictator, Gretchen Whitmer. Just a couple of things today. I'm going to talk about sports, unfortunately. Um, that's right. Everybody run it. Um, I, I do really love football, but I find it hard to watch the NFL. And, in some respects, college as well. So last night, though, I was watching the Denver-Kansas City game, and it was sort of a washover from the put me over the put me over the edge based on the Michigan Georgia game. Now, there was really no doubt in my mind that Georgia was going to win that game. I thought that Michigan maybe. The only chance Michigan really had of doing anything was when Alabama beat Georgia, Michigan should have went to number one, Cincinnati stays four, and then they make Alabama and Georgia fight it out in the semifinals. But apparently the NCAA wants an all-SEC national championship game. But what I saw in the Michigan game and what I saw last night in the Denver-Kansas City game just makes me uh, flip my, you know what. I cannot for the life of me. It's bad enough that they drop their heads when they tackle. It's worse when they, you know, all they do is arm tackle. Or maybe they'll throw a shoulder into somebody. All this stuff that they should have gotten it out of their system in junior high. But the thing I will not understand that drove me absolutely nuts in both games is why these linemen and tight ends continually give up the inside gap. Jesus, God Almighty, I cannot for the life of me understand. Uh, they, they continually let these defensive guys inside and let them just wreck offenses. And I don't know why. I do not understand the blocking that would allow a lineman to just give up the inside gap. It can be easily fixed. But I'm going to, you know, if, if the uh, Denver Broncos would like me to come in and consult with them, um, I'll make my schedule available. We'll go through this shit one-on-one -on -one with these guys. But if they, you know, don't want to pay, here's one, here's a couple of things that might help. Number one, you know, tighten up your stances on the line a little bit. Especially with the tight ends. Just, you know, move in a couple of inches. That's the first thing. Tight ends, the second thing. You know, there's, if they're, they are going to keep the gap and uh, you uh, are supposed to be running a pass pattern on a running play, your first step is to step inside. Step, you know, maybe just step towards like an angle towards the, uh, the tackle's helmet or shoulder pad. And that way, if someone is blitzing, you know, well, basically embrace for impact. Other than that, you're just, you're gone down, you're going down the field. Just... Step inside, you know, tighten up your stance a little bit. But here's here's the third one. Here's what I learned in eighth grade football. And this will help all y'all. So if the play is coming to your side, your blocking scheme is goo. G-O-O. -O. Gap on you or over you. If it's away from you, it's go, gap, or on you. Notice everything is gap, though. That means the inside gap. I, But like I said, if, if you would like uh, further assistance, 
uh, me consulting your linemen and tight ends, I'll be more than happy to come there. The last thing is I'm going to put together a, uh, a, I guess you could say a series of vlogs based on a lawsuit that was filed on Donald Trump's behalf. And the only thing that I don't like about it is I hate to do all these, stay tuned for part two or part three, but there's just so much to it. And I have to basically, I'm not a YouTube baller. I don't have, uh, when I do all this stuff, I, I don't have two devices available. So it means I have to write everything down and then read it back during the vlog. So uh, that's coming up. Oh, I should mention that I find a little bit hypocritical, I guess. It's the other thing, aside from the, the arm tackling and the shoulder tackles and the inside gap, um, it's the mouthpieces. These, uh, these guys won't put their mouthpieces in. Now, in the NFL, you know, doesn't find them for it. But, you know, it's it's like all this uh, concussion stuff going on and head injuries and, uh, you know, losing your grill. These guys don't seem to really be too concerned about it. They won't put their mouthpiece in. They're free to choose to basically risk brain injury and uh, grill extraction. And yet... It's mandatory that they, they get a jab. That that health consequence, oh, no, no, no. We can't, we can't have that. You can decide if you want to live in a coma for the rest of your life. And you can decide if you want to, uh, based on your personal experience, if you want to uh, be the spokesperson for, for some dental implant company, well, that's fine. Be our guest. No problem. You know, I don't know why they, they hang those things off their face masks. I don't know why they just don't hang like some fuzzy dice or a air freshener. They're free to do that. But, oh, the jab, yeah, forget that. You need to do that. We will fine you. Um, you can't play. It's just nuts. It's just nuts. I would rather... Take my chances with the as an athlete, as an in shape, well conditioned athlete. I would rather take my chances with the immunity enhancement program than getting a chip, a tooth chipped, because I was stupid enough not to put a mouthpiece in. That's it, Charger Troller saying aloha and good day.